Welcome to the Cultural Awareness Series, where we merge the understanding of the term culture, both in human society and microbiology, by highlighting microbiologists you may have never heard of. Today, we will be learning about Mary Hunt. Unfortunately, Mary Hunt is a classic invisible scientist. She made one of the greatest discoveries and contributions to the field of medicine, but few have heard her name. In fact, to this day, we are unsure that her name even was Mary Hunt, so many only refer to her as Moldy Mary. Until recently, we were not aware that the mass production of penicillin, the first antibiotic, was due to a research technician collecting and studying moldy fruit in Peoria, Illinois. 1928 was a year that shattered the field of medicine as we knew it. Alexander Fleming, a Scottish microbiologist, accidentally stumbled upon a compound capable of inhibiting bacterial growth. After taking a week-long vacation, Fleming returned to his lab to discover his Staphylococcus aureus cultures had been contaminated with a fungus. To his surprise, he noticed that the bacteria immediately surrounding the fungus was destroyed. Fleming identified the fungus as Penicillium rubens. Chemists later used Fleming's findings to isolate penicillin from Penicillium rubens, where it was used in several clinical trials. The downfall of this particular fun fungus was that only small amounts of penicillin could be isolated. Moving out of the clinical stage, there was a demand for penicillin to be readily available and to be distributed worldwide. However, this was becoming more of a challenge than scientists would have wanted. Therefore, many research labs across the world were searching for a strain of penicillium that would be favorable for mass production, mass production of penicillin. One such research facility was the Department of Agriculture's Northern Regional Research Laboratory in Peoria, Illinois. Technicians working here were tasked with the job of searching for mold strains that would produce more penicillin than Penicillium rubens. One day in 1943, a cantaloupe infected with Penicillium chrysogenum was brought back to the laboratory by a technician named Mary. Upon further investigation, she discovered that this mold produced 200 times the amount of penicillin compared to Penicillium rubens. Scientists at the lab were ecstatic and zapped the mold with radiation to mutate it so it produced nearly 1,000 times the amount of penicillin compared to the original. By 1944, the fungus had been mass produced and millions of people were treated with the newly developed antibiotic penicillin. Now the question remains, who is Moldy Mary and why have most people never heard of her before? This stems from misinformation dating back to the 1940s. To this day, we are unsure of who Moldy Mary actually was, and this does a great injustice by not recognizing her work publicly. Documentation exists of interviews with a Mary Hunt that is hypothesized to be Moldy Mary, but not a lot of attention was given to these interviews as her superiors dismissed her as, quote, only a messenger girl. In 2019, Chris Ferris of the Peoria Public Library conducted a thorough investigation into Moldy Mary. Through his research, he hypothesized Moldy Mary was likely Maria Natusco, born in 1910. Maria is documented to have immigrated into the United States in 1913 and changed her name to Mary Hunt. While in the United States, she attended the University of Chicago and University of Illinois Medical School, where she studied microbiology and public health. She later worked at the laboratory in Peoria as a bacteriologist. It should be noted that only 130 women were employed as bacteriologists by the United States government throughout the 1940s. Most of the women were shunned by their male peers and given odd jobs rather than actual scientific research. Therefore, it is likely that Mary Hunt was not credited for her discovery due to the sexism that existed within the workplace at that time. For example, her super supervisor at the time, Robert Coghill, originally gave her full credit for the discovery. However, over the years, his viewpoint changed over time, and in a 1976 interview, he is quoted as saying, quote, actually, Moldy Mary was made by the newspapers, 
the merchants downtown named her. When you think of the tremendous value penicillin has had, there are much more important things to write about than Moldy Mary." End quote. These contradictions have caused the confusion and injustice, quote, Moldy Mary experienced since her discovery in 1943. Her contributions to science have, unfortunately, fallen by the wayside, but deserve to be known by current scientists today. Let's honor Mary, discoverer of a fungus capable of mass production of penicillin that has helped treat and save countless patients across the world.